1987 winners Coventry hosted Worcester in what many expected to be a mere formality for the League One side. But after an uneventful opening period, the game was turned on its head after Sky Blues keeper Lee Burge clashed with Worcester striker Daniel and T. Protestations ensued from both sides, but referee Ross Joyce showed Burge the red card to leave Coventry with ten men. Regular keeper Ryan Allsop came on at the expense of striker Frank Newble. But he couldn't prevent Sam Geddes from converting from the spot and giving Worcester the unlikeliest of leads. Coventry hadn't lost to lower league opposition since the infamous defeat to Sutton 25 years ago, and they thought they had got themselves right back in the game after James Madison was brought down by Graham Hutchinson. Referee Joyce pointing to the spot for the second time in the afternoon. However, it was a moment to forget for Blues captain Raider Johnson. An easy save for on loan keeper Nathan Vaughan, meaning Carl Heaney's side remained in front at the interval. Despite their underdog status, Worcester weren't simply shutting up shop, and they were rewarded for their endeavour when the ball fell kindly for Geddes here. His second of the afternoon sent the travelling support into raptures. It was to be a nail-biting second half for them, though. Coventry were throwing men forward. Jim O'Brien saw his double effort ricochet away to safety before the breakthrough finally came. And this time it was Raider Johnson proving to be more accurate with his head than his feet as he reduced the arrears with ten minutes left. The game now very much in the balance. Aaron Martin fashioned a golden opportunity to bring Coventry level, but he saw his effort fizz agonisingly wide, and perhaps it was now that Coventry realised that it wasn't to be their day. Despite the gap between themselves and their more illustrious opponents, Worcester finished the game on the hunt for another goal. Allsop did well to keep it at 2-1. Coventry were unable to get the equaliser they so badly needed. They hadn't gone out at this stage since 1959. An incredible result for Worcester as they march on into the second round.